Welcome everybody, top of the table, Modern Clash from Division 2 here between Will McCarty, uh, sorry, Anthony Fredrickson and Matt Powell. Uh, Anthony Wayne Fredrickson doesn't fit in that box, so I've abbreviated it to A. Fredrickson. Uh, I'll have to check with him which he prefers. Uh, Matt Powell at the top of the screen, Anthony uh, recorded this time. Well, leading out for Heritage Druid is a, into a noble, oh uh, sorry, a, Leading out for Horizon Canopy into a Noble Hierarch is pretty ominous. It suggests he's probably on a one drop. I'd gut shot that Noble Hierarch for sure. Uh, Anthony looks like he's on, I don't know what. I see a Crackling Drake in a Traverse. I haven't really seen that too much in Modern. Perhaps it's a... Some sort of a... No, I'm not even... Uh, okay, so he's on Arclight Phoenix. We've seen the Arclight Phoenix here now. Unfortunately, Serum Visions is not faceless leading, so you can't bin, bin that Arclight Phoenix. Uh, on the other side of the table, Hierarch with Canopy strongly... And there's a gut shot for the Hierarch. Strongly suggests that he's on either um, Spirits or like some sort of green-white value town, which I sometimes play. Okay, so he's on Barn. Yeah, he's now definitely on Spirits. Here's a Supreme Phantom. So we're going to have to see what, um, we've seen the Phoenix obviously, we'll see what Anthony's got uh, in terms of removal and so on, because this could be a pretty tough matchup. Uh, the Spirits deck will look to go wide against the deck that probably, aren't, you can see the gut shot there, the removal would be sparse, you can see there's a Lightning Bolt, I was going to say Lightning Bolt's probably about the best you're going to get, particularly in game one. Just Temple Garden untapped. Shocks himself. You can see he's down to 14, taking a beating from his lands. That Horizon Canopy takes one life each turn you tap it for mana. So, uh, pretty clear what he's up against here. I mean, sorry, what he's representing probably is Spell Queller. Be interesting to see how uh, Anthony wants to play this. Because you can see he's got the Gut Shot, which does nothing here. Gonna play a breeding pool untapped. So what's he gonna traverse for? This will be interesting. I don't know if he's got. Oh, okay. So he, he traversed for a creature. So that means he's got delirium in the graveyard. Four different card types. That's gonna meet. Thing in the ice is gonna meet the spell queller. Now the, the thing here, the thing for the thing, is that uh, if he resolves that thing in the ice and then plays the four spells, he's gonna bounce. Uh, Matt's entire board. So Matt's got him at 11, three turn clock currently. You'd probably play another creature here. Yeah, he's going to play another Phantom, I guess. A spell Phantasmal Image copying Supreme Phantom. And so that's going to put Anthony on a two turn clock. So he needs a, he needs he needs something right now. He's got Lightning Bolt, which does not do anything on the current board. He's going to have to Gut Shot plus Bolt. Uh, that would take down. Or any of them. Like, I gutshot does one, so he's, he can only take down a lord. So this is pretty. He's reaching here. Takes one of each, finds two lightning bolts, so he can actually bolt down the spell queller to get back his um, thing in the ice if he wishes, but he can't flip the thing in the ice. Nice play there, gut shot on this uh, phantasmal image because any spell that targets it kills it. And now he's going to bolt down the spell queller. Oh, he's going to bolt down the Supreme Phantom and then bolt down the Spell Quiller. So very nice play from Anthony to clear the board there. And on top of all that, he gets back his um, thing in the ice. Well, he, Matt's going to fire off a Path to Exile here, targeting what? Targeting the Spell Quiller? The spell Quiller, oh, it's not going to stop the thing in the ice coming back. So I, I think that's pretty clear what that spell represents. Uh, he needs that fourth land to fire off a collected company, which we're probably going to see here in the main phase, while Anthony's tapped out. Oh, he's cracked the horizon canopy, so he's got nothing going on. Twelve and three. He's, he's only got to get in one hit. Unfortunately for the Bant player, Bant doesn't have the colors to get in one hit, and... Uh, Spirits does not have any spirit that is three power, so he's going to need to find uh, two creatures. A collector company would do it. Here's one of them. It's a mausoleum wanderer. 
He's only got one card in hand. It plays out the Ether Vial. So if he's playing the Ether Vial now, that's clearly the the spell for the turn. Oh, sorry, the draw for the turn. As Matt looks to be completely out of gas. Gavany Township and an Ether Vial with nothing on the board. So he desperate, desperately needs to find... some action here. Monomorphose is going to put him to one spell required, see if he can draw a spell. If he draws a spell here, this one's over. He does not. Only one spell to go though. So just looking at this deck, I'm not, I mean, I've, I've seen the deck lists for it, but it looks like that Serum Visions would be much better as a Faithless Looting to get the Arc Light into the graveyard, if that's what you want to do. Now this is going to be pretty hopeless here for Matt because you can see he's got two Ether Vials now. Even if he was to play something, it's just going to get um, bounced back. And this is a really nice play here for Anthony. He's going to be able to Snapcaster, play the smell, spell and bounce his own Snapcaster back. He's going to Lightning Bolt to, and that's enough. Matt had seen enough, we're going to game two. So, interesting game that one. Matt Power was quick out the blocks. It looked to be ominously uh, for Anthony where until he had the, the gut shot on the Phantasmal Image followed up by two lightning bolts to get him out of it. No turn one Mana Dork. And the other interesting play here for the Barn Spirits player plays a non-green source turn one. Gonna traverse for a land. Yeah, it, it looks like he, he he's just on straight up blue. Uh, is it Phoenix, but with a green splash for traverse? I'm not sure. I really like that, to be honest. He's gonna b gut shot down the mausoleum wanderer. And again, we see this play of pathing his own creature. The only reason I'm a bit skeptical of this is these lists that run the Ether Vials, particularly, he did this in game one, the lists that run the Ether Vials usually only play three Path to Exile, so you need to deal with this thing in the ice, and Path is the only way to do it. You can see Anthony's going to be able to hardcast Arclight Phoenix next turn. I don't know if he actually wants to do that, though, because... It dies to most of the spirits. And here's uh, Coco. I'm curious to see what uh, Anthony brought in from the sideboard to deal with this. Because two Drog Skull Captains, that's the draw you want. So now the situation for Anthony is bounce those. That's the only way to w win now. Geist of Sitraft. He basically has to... Anthony needs to find a miracle here, four spells in a row to, to bounce that uh, thing in the ice. No targets for Ancient Grudge. I don't, I don't really like bringing an Ancient Grudge in this matchup. Um, it only hits the Aether Vials, which is three cards in the deck. He's steering down six, at least ten, so he's steering down lethal next turn. I think this one's over. I can't see what he's got in the graveyard. He's got a gut shot. But see, he can't target any of these creatures because they all have hex proof from the two drug skull captains. Because he, he, there's going to be a 4 4 flying angel. He's going to go for it. This is going to have to be a pretty impressive string of spells to get out of this one. There's the first one. He needs four in a row. He needs to find four. Okay, Faithless Looting is two. That's actually a pretty good pickup. Oh, he's found Double Bolt, but he doesn't have an... Has he, I don't think he's played a land this turn, so he... Oh, he's put the Foothills in the bin, so...
Yeah, I think he, I don't know if he played the land or not. I, he's he's got a snapcaster, but he doesn't have the land to be able to play it. Oh, he's, oh, he's played back gut shot. Very nice play. I didn't see the gut shot in the bin. That's going to bounce the board. So he, I think he's gotten out of it again. Phoenix comes down. Matt's at. No, Matt's just dead here. And <laughs> uh, Anthony's going to win this match out of nowhere. He can just snap bolt next turn, and this one is done. So, qu quite an entertaining comeback from Anthony in both games. Well done. 